on the current image it, it is quite easy to see that it's of very shitty quality it is pixelated and not centered to fix it you should go to the acquisition mode tab and here you can see that there is a wide choice of different resolutions including the optimal possible resolution which you can select by clicking on it but then you will see that the scanning time has dramatically increased so it was first 780 milliseconds and with optimal resolution it will be 18 seconds you rarely need to have 2320 pixels by 2320 pixels images it's rather poster size images usually this resolution will be sufficient for most of the publications but please be aware that sometimes you will need to crop your images and then it will be better to go to higher resolution so if i set up the resolution on 1024 uh, I will see absolutely no difference in the fast scan, but in the continuous scan, the scanning will be slower and higher resolution. The image is not centered, and I can center it by just cropping out the stuff which I don't need uh, by using this crop button. You can see that the blue line on the top of it, and this will be the top of my image, and uh, I can actually rotate the image any way I like. I will keep it this way. So when now I click on continuous, I'm scanning only the cropped area. And this saves me quite a lot of time and preserves also surroundings from photo bleaching. You can also see that currently I'm using single directional scanning, which actually takes twice longer usually than bi-directional scanning. So when I switch to bi-directional, now I have only 2.6 seconds per frame to scan and there is no loss in quality of image. If I switch from maximum speed of scanning to slower speed of scanning, I gain quite a lot of information in darker areas. So this would be beneficial for scanning this particular sample. On the other hand, nothing here is moving. This is stained nuclei. So what I can do, I can try to figure out whether averaging will actually give me the same quality of image with lower scanning time. And maybe it does. Or I can combine slightly lower speed with slightly higher averaging and see if it gives me a good result. And you would probably like to have good quality scanning in both tracks so you can check what it looks like in another track and it's not so rosy here the yellow fluorescence is much dimmer in this case which means that i had to pull the master gain much higher and it leads to higher noise so what i can do i can maybe pull a bit down the master gain nope i can't but I can slow down the scanning speed to get rid of some of the noise and get a decent quality. And now it takes 26 seconds. How about this combination? Not much faster and not much better. How about this one? Much more pixelated. I could increase a little bit more the laser intensity and pull a little bit more the gain. This looks slightly better. But now I have quite high laser intensity, which might lead to photo bleaching and phototoxicity.